you know, on the infrastructure part, I think we're going to see a continued proliferation of institutions wanting to issue their own chains. Um, you know, most of them will fail, but some of them, you know, the, the, we're certainly going to live in like a very, very multi-chain world, and um, you know, we already do to some degree. And so, I mean, that's where it's great to have partners like Chainlink that can, you know, bridge all of that infrastructure together. And um, you know, a great example of that is the work we did with J.P. Morgan. You know, they have their own chain. You know, the the Connexus permission chain. You know, we have a chain that we're working on, Ondo Chain, which. Um, you know, we're going to have a lot of institutional validators participating in it, including those who are making their own chains. So there's a lot of overlap here. Um, but you know, this work we did a few months ago, you, you know, we made it possible for an investor to go from a tokenized deposit on JP Morgan's chain to a tokenized treasury on Ondo Chain. It was sort of the first you know pilot transaction on Ondo Chain, and that was enabled through you know Chainlink's cross-chain messaging system.